Okay, we are going to take a few minutes and work on Autodesk Inventor to create this three-dimensional cube. Autodesk Inventor is an amazingly complex and really cool program, but it can be a little bit intimidating at first. So we are just going to start with the bare basics. Uh, Autodesk Inventor allows you to create three-dimensional objects, like so. And in this video, for the next few minutes, we are going to create a three-dimensional cube that's three quarters of an inch uh, all the way around. So let's go ahead and minimize this. In order to start this, we have to start a new part. So in the upper left hand corner, we click on uh, this drop down menu, go to new, and go to part. That brings up the screen right here. Now we have to create a 2D sketch. Click on that, and we're presented with a number of axes to choose from. We are going to choose this, the x-axis, or the front view of the object. You can even see in the upper right hand corner, it says front. In order to draw a cube, we're going to first start with a square. So we're going to click on the rectangle tool. And you can see that we have a cursor on the screen. Line this up with a point of origin. You can see that it goes green right there. Click. Now go up and to the right and you can see there's dimensions right there. We are going to enter point 0.75, which is 3 quarters of an inch, then hit the tab screen. Enter point 0.75, which is 3 quarters of an inch, and click the enter button. Using the scroll wheel, I'm scrolling out, and you can see that it zooms out. Now, my cursor is still remembering that I want to do a rectangle, so click the escape key. And now I can move all the way around and resize this however I want. Now we need to go from a square to a cube. So in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click Finish Sketch, just like that. Zoom out just a bit. Now go over here to the Extrude tool and click Extrude. And you can see automatically it has a default of one inch. We don't want one inch, we want point. 7.5 and hit the enter key. Now we have a three-dimensional cube right here. You can see that I clicked on the orbit right there and now holding the right or the left mouse key I can orbit it around. Get off it, click the right mouse key, click, click OK and it's back to normal. I can change the color of this by going up Instead of default, I can put on driftwood. We have a very nice wooden cube right there. Now it's incredibly important to save these. Um, and when you are doing an Autodesk Inventor project, you need to first establish a folder. So on my desktop right here, I have a folder that says puzzle pieces right there. So I'm going to click on Puzzle Pieces. So you always have to save your inventor files in the same folder. So I'm going to call this Bach uh, Cube Driftwood. And it's going to be saved in my Puzzle Pieces folder. Click Save when I'm done. Okay, this is a basic starter video on how to actually make a cube using Autodesk Inventor. Stop this video, rewind and replay as many times as you need to get the concept.